last month I said, oh, I won't hold off to doing the punishment again. I won't, you know, I won't wait so long. And then this month I did even worse. Taylor picked Gotti, the John Travolta movie for me to watch. And my understanding is it is terrible. So this will be interesting. Um, I also lost for last month, for October. So I'll be doing another one here probably in a couple days as soon as Taylor lets me know what it is. Let me tell you something. New York is the greatest fucking city in the world. My city. I was a kid in these streets. I started in a fucking gutter, and I made it to the top. This life ends one of two ways, dead or in jail. I did both. It's like a bad impression my grandfather might do. This is a very long intro. I forgot I normally do it the other way. Let me fix this real quick. I was wondering what fell off. <laughs> I was like, something seems backwards. Something doesn't seem right. John Travolta must feel like this was his... I don't even know. <laughs> his, his moment. Show his range. I'm alone with Let me tell you something. No kid of mine is going to be a cop for Halloween. And that's it. It's not going to happen. Funny. He's just a kid. Today he wants to be a cop. Tomorrow an astronaut. If I ever hear that you let my... This just feels like someone watched The Sopranos a lot and then wrote a movie and then acted in that movie and didn't do a very good job. Is he just doing Rocky? He's doing like Rocky and maybe Tony Soprano. They sent me to Green Haven Penitentiary where I served two years out of a four year sentence. With the guards in my back pocket, I was able to get medical furloughs to see the family dentist. Okay, I thought he was out. That was a very confusing way to tell that part of the story. Dead. I spent two out of four years, and then he left. <laughs> okay. That doesn't matter. There's so much walking in this movie. The peace of mind that one day I'll be there for my family when I am. Is this going to be the way they structure the whole movie? This conversation cutting back to flashbacks of things they did. Because that, if that's the case, no one cares about this conversation, right? This conversation is boring. <laughs> and using this as your anchor point for the whole movie to come back to every time just halts the, the pace. Like, uh, okay, let's keep going. 12 out of 109 minutes down. You know what? You're gonna see him this weekend. Everyone around him actually seems like like a decent actor. And he stands out so hard. <laughs> he like he he seems like he's in his own world. Like he doesn't seem to react emotionally with everyone else or stay like he doesn't he doesn't hit the same tone as everyone else. He's just like, I'm doing what I'm doing and you guys are <laughs> just kind of follow I guess I don't this movie oh my goodness so John Travolta's character left the house then they cut his friend walking back in and John Travolta was back in the house there's no like how are you supposed to know what's happening I have no idea when this is taking place is this right after they just left is this months after? Is this years after? What? <clears throat> this is so bad. 18 minutes in. I think this is all about his relationship with his son. And it's all snapshots from him growing up and their interactions. It's probably, I don't, I don't know anything about this. I don't know why it was made. I don't know what the source material was. I don't know how true it is to life. My guess, this is based off a book his son wrote. John Travolta wanted to be this character and wanted the character John Gotti to be the main star when really the story is with the son should have been following him as the main character and Gotti being the you know in and out the that make that the snapshot show his progression of you know wanting to be a cop wanting to be a mobster wanting to get out all that stuff that's compelling 
the way they're doing it now is it's just dumb. John. Now I assume they're establishing stuff for later on in the movie, but they're not telling any story now. You need to weave in your introductions to plot lines to stare to story plots. Uh, that's the same thing, right? Uh, to characters, to story arcs is what I was trying to say. You need to weave that into telling a story. You gotta, you, you know, you kind of start it off with like a really simple, this character wants this thing or needs this thing, is trying to get this thing quickly. Weave in stuff in and out of that, then have your inciting incident, then go into your main whole thing. But it's just, <clears throat> there's no real structure to this, it doesn't seem like. Okay, so now another time jump. Is he gonna get hit by a car? Is he gonna get hit by a car, right? Look around you. This is a bit on the nose for the song. How terrible would that be? This is a powerful moment in someone's life. And it should be a very powerful moment in a movie. But they didn't establish Frankie as a character. They didn't really show him. He's, he got straight A's and he wanted to wait up until his brother got home. If this movie was focused on the brother, and I think his name's John. If it was focused on him, they could have like shown their relationship shown why he wanted to wait until his brother got home and like really develop that so when this happened it meant something not just oh you know a kid dying is sad so be sad now and it, it i don't know they also they didn't establish anything really between him and his son again you're just supposed to infer oh it's sad i mean it is but it's not effective <laughs> So is this is this the same day as when he's like, get out of bed, we have other kids? Or is that months earlier and now it's Christmas and now they're having a party? Like there's not... <clears throat> I just, I don't really know what you're supposed to feel about this. Like, it's just jumping so far so fast without any reference so it's like really hard to know where the characters are at and what's going on with them it's just like here's a problem oh it's solved here's another problem oh it's solved here's another problem oh it's solved and then it's just boring see this is actually like interesting this is what the movie should have been just john Gotti popping in causing anarchy in his life or causing chaos in his life and him just like trying to deal with everything, you know, being his son. And it's just, that's a way better movie to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Ridiculous. You got popped, Dan. Let me just ask you one question. What? Are you bad mountain Paul on them tapes? Did they Are just you? skip over oh, the stuff oh, of the son? Hundreds of hours, what, you don't John, remember nothing? They bugged my daughter's phone. What were you saying on the tapes? I <laughs> None of this, none of this feels earned. <laughs> it feels important. None of it feels like, so he got betrayed earlier and it's just, I knew, I knew this was bad. I just didn't realize it was nothing. It's just, there's just nothing here. And it's, it's shocking. Like. I don't think everyone is just incompetent who made this movie. A lot of these actors seem pretty solid. The filming style seems awkward for the tone of the movie. Like the handheld camera to the the um, locked off camera type thing. They keep going back and forth. It feels a little uncomfortable um, because it makes it feel more like a documentary, which it's not. And I don't think it's supposed to feel that way. Um, but like, there's just like no story. There's nothing happening. So this actually is somewhat interesting because it's something they established in 
earlier in the movie about how he hated him and how he's in the way and how he's causing problems with his best friend. It's 54 minutes in. This is like one of the first interesting things with John Travolta in this movie. 54 minutes. John Gotti had to keep his family surviving. Gotti is the man. And he kept kept that neighborhood safe. Oh, this is so boring. Listen to me. And listen to me good. You're never gonna see another guy like me if you live to be 5,000. Okay, well, that was. Let me turn that off. There we go. Um, that was Gotti. It's really bad. I was kind of surprised about how bad it was. Um, I know I was saying that they should have focused on the son about his journey his arc especially because it seems like it's from his point of view at least most of the stories that's probably why they didn't have a lot of insider detail to the stuff that happened with John Gotti maybe they didn't do it because they didn't want to be like the godfather but if that's the case You, you take one of the best crime movies ever and one of the you know best movies ever and you're like, we don't want to be like that. Let's do something different. Which I get to an extent, but I don't know. Maybe try to be closer like that. Like, especially if it's a true story, right? You can, you can tell a story, especially if there's parallels to something that's great and you have a lot more room because you're telling a true story. You're not making up the facts. You're not changing what happened in reality. This is what happened. You can tell that story. I don't know. It just felt like ego. It felt like this was supposed to be John Travolta's piece. And uh, it's not good. So I'm sure I'll have another one of these coming out in a couple of days once Taylor lets me know what the next punishment is. <laughs>